Okay, we're just going to do a quick video of my Atari CX40 joystick. Um, this joystick I got with a bundle. Um, I've got two joysticks, a console, and a couple of games. Um, I really bought this. I bought it for the games, and the games are well worth the price I paid alone. When these joysticks arrived, um, I checked them out, and both of them were broken. One was a Cheetah 125 Plus. The other one was a CX40. Um, I opened it up to have a look if I could um, sort it out and um, basically it had broken domes, cracked domes and also one other thing it did have which made it unrepairable was that um, the plastic thing, the uh, the rocker had broken on it um, so I was unable to repair it otherwise I could have easily put micro switches on it but I did do something else to it um, as you can see it's a standard CX40 um, nothing special about it well nothing special about it at the moment it, um, there is one special thing about this that I will show you and that is this let's get a close-up on this because I want you to listen It has an arcade joystick inside it. A Saimetsu arcade joystick. I managed to fit one in. It, 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 was, it, it was quite something getting it in there. But I'm going to turn it over. And let's try and get the focus on that. There you go, there's your joystick. On micro switches. So some micro switches got Simetsu with micro switches in there, brand new micro switches in there. So I managed to get it all in. Um, I had to drill a bevel, a level down everything inside it, all the pegs, everything had to be leveled. So I've had to glue it in. But because I had to glue it in, I've actually made sure everything works. So let's come on to the screen. So my joystick test screen. It all work pretty smooth as well, and it's really smooth. Uh, it is a really awesome bit of joystick now. Um, brilliant. Basically, before you say butcher, blasphemist, all the rest of it, I will tell you because of the damage um, to the little thing inside there, the um, that little clip piece, um, this piece here. Um, I couldn't repair it unless I got another one of those whole shaft pieces and they're not easy to get hold of. So rather than using this as a donor joystick to repair other joysticks um, and using it for parts which would have been quite a shame, I've basically given this joystick not only a new lease of life but a smoother lease of life. It is so much more easy to use. It's, it's, it's awesome. Getting that micro switch on the button there though, that, that was funny. Um, I had to find a way of doing that, but I managed to do it. It works, works smooth. Um, I'll show you what I did actually. I broke a couple of them in the process. Is I got one of these. Uh, let's see if I can focus in on that. And see, it's a little switch on there, but you can see where I broke it. I broke about, I think I broke about three of them in the process. Um, I screwed that in and they kept snapping off but what I did is I used a much bigger PCB board so the bigger board there's a slightly much bigger board in there which holds it so that should hold more sturdy you now there you go and it works spot on um, absolutely spot on Let's give that a circle dot 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 there you go fire button brilliant um, the reason why that has been drilled is because it sticks out by about a millimetre or two, um, as you can see. So that's why I had to sort of drill out. But then it's not bad having that hole there because that hole serves me two purposes. I can grease it straight from here and also works as a restrictor, a round restrictor as well. So it, it doubles up as a restrictor as well. So there you go, perfect joystick. Um, arcade joystick in a CX40 housing 
um, so you don't lose the feel of the joystick at all. Um, you still got it there, everything's there, brilliant, awesome, uh, smooth play, and it still looks like a CX40. Um, you can see it's actually quite clean um, all round. <laughs> it's got a bit of dust in there, but that's only just happened now. But that's because I did take it completely apart and gave it a good wash with soap and water. And it's had a good soap and water wash. But yeah, it looks really good and it's really smooth now. Um, and it's still pretty much authentic. So there we have it. CX40 upgraded with an arcade joystick, Saimetsu arcade joystick inside of it. Um, what more can you ask for? I think it's brilliant, I think, personally. Um, thank you for watching the video. And um, hopefully I'll bring you more uh, mods and upgrades and little tidbits for you um, in the coming future. Thanks for watching.